Hello everyone, today we're going to be focusing on deck work system pressure losses. We'll be talking about pressure losses calculation through the supply and return deck for the Triton packet rift up unit. And the pressure losses through the elbows, the transition, the trunks, the filters, the branches, the diffusers, the grills, the flex elbows. And we are also going to be considering how to size and design deck work based on the velocity and CFM for its in and drawing deck work with single line diagram. Let's uh, start with uh, pressure drop and resistance inside HVAC or deck work system. Pressure drop is a term to describe the increases in pressure from one point in a pipe or deck work to another point. When hair flows from a hair handler or deck work system, it will experience some friction inside the deck work and this hair passes through some components such as uh, fans, filters, fittings, VAV system, fan coil units, diffusers, grills and fans per deck work design, per installation, turbulence flow, and per per air flow, undersized deck system, oversized deck system, equipment failure, system failure, and any restriction to air flow will create resistance which can cause a static pressure later in the system. The first thing we have to do is to measure and calculate the total deck length of our supply including our return deck along the critical path. As you can see, I've drawn a single line deck diagram only for example purposes which is showing the total length of our supply and return deck. The supply deck 2 feet plus 15 feet plus 15 feet plus 15 feet plus 8 feet and the return deck 2 feet plus 8 feet plus 15 feet plus 15 feet and plus 8 feet so now let's add those all numbers and 2 feet plus 15 feet plus 15 feet plus 15 feet plus 8 feet so we now have a total length of 55 feet through our supply side and 2 feet plus 8 feet plus 15 feet plus 15 feet plus 8 feet and a total length of 48 feet for our return deck 55 feet plus 48 feet that gives us a total length of 103 feet for our supply and return deck Engineers have a standard by which they design HVAC systems, some standard ensure code compliances and some are for the sake of design efficiency. For the detected HVAC systems, these standards include such as deck velocities, maximum flex, deck length, type of supply and return devices, and uh, deck materials. And the next point we have to consider is to calculate the pressure losses through the deck fittings such as elbows, trunks, branches and transitions. As you can see this is a single line deck diagram which is telling us the quantities of our fittings. So for this example we're going to be using a 3 ton package uh, rift top unit which is uh, equivalent to a 1200 CFM with a velocity of 1000 PFM for our main deck at a static pressure of 0.1 inch of water column and to calculate the pressure losses we will use the formula TDL plus TEL divided by 100 multiply by DFL where TDL is total deck length TEL is total equivalent length uh, 100 is uh, per 100 feet of deck work and DFL is just design flow loss to simplify this example we'll use a sample residential house which is a laundry kitchen 
a bath, a dining room, a living room with a corridor and three bedrooms. As you can see, I've also drawn a deck layout which is showing a 1200 CFM with a velocity of 1000 PFM flowing through our main supply deck which is a cross-sectional area of 14 by 15 inches minus 140 CFM with a velocity of 600 PFM flowing through a flex diameter of 6 inches and 3 quarters so that leaves 160 CFM with a velocity of 1000 PFM coming through our main supply deck which is a cross-sectional area of 14 by 15 inches minus 155 CFM with a velocity of 603 PFM flowing through a flex deck which is a diameter of 6 inches and 3 quarters and here as you can see we have got a transition installed as the area decreases the velocity increases as the velocity increases and the pressure decreases so again that leaves uh, 905 CFM with a velocity of uh, 1163 PFM flowing uh, through a cross-sectional area of 14 by 8 inches minus 130 CFM with a velocity of 599 PFM and a flexible deck diameter of 6 inches and 1 quarter again minus uh, 120 CFM with a velocity of 590 PFM and a flex diameter of 6 inches and 2 quarters so again that leaves uh, 655 CFM with a velocity of 962 PFM coming through the same area 14 by 8 inches minus uh, 165 CFM with a velocity of 605 PFM and a flux diameter of 7 inches so we have uh, another transition here uh, 14 by 7 inches uh, minus 165 CFM with a velocity of 605 PFM and a flex diameter of 7 inches again minus uh, 165 CFM with a velocity of uh, 610 PFM and a flex diameter of 7 inches so again uh, minus 155 CFM with a velocity of 602 PFM and a flex diameter of 6 inches and 3 quarters again minus 170 CFM with a velocity of 610 PFM and a flex diameter of uh, 7 inches and 1 quarter so only the bathroom I have in account with CFM for to determine the pressure losses through our feedings we'll be using this chart as you can see this is a corrected pressure drop chart which can tell us what the pressure losses are through our feedings and this is a feeding loss conversion factors chart which can allow us to convert the total equivalent length of our feeding for our system design since our main deck velocity design is 1000 so as you can see it's reading 0.55 here as you can see I've already tabulated the types and quantities of our feedings let's start with uh, feeding losses through our supply path type A height divided by weight equals 1 so if you use a feeding loss chart that gives you a total equivalent length of 45 feet and the next one is type C3 where QB is over QT these are all the same types uh, if we divide 140 CFM over 1200 CFM that gives us 0.11 uh, using a feeding loss chart that will give us a total equivalent length of 35 feet and the last one is type B2 over A1 over A2 and use a feeding loss chart that gives you total equivalent length of 36 feet so adding these all numbers in including our flex elbows that comes out a total equivalent length of 699 feet 
and do the same way for our return side and that comes out a total equivalent length of 400 feet. It's very important to include components such as filters, diffusers, grills, flex elbows and dampers. For this system design, for the filter, the supply diffuser, the return grills, we're going to be using 0.1 inch of water column and for our flex elbows 240 feet equivalent length of deck let's jump into the last part uh, we have 1200 cfm our main deck design velocity is 1000 pfm at a static pressure of 0.1 inch of water column total fitting losses for our supply and return deck is 1099 feet fitting loss conversion factor based on our velocity design is 0.55 1099 feet multiplied by 0.55 that gives us a total equivalent length of 605 feet it's now corrected for our system design total depth length for our supply and return is uh, 103 feet we use 0.1 inch of water column for the supply diffuser for the return diffuser and for the filters adding this all number in the comes out 0.9 inch of water column and this is the pressure which is exerted on our rooftop unit by components we have just calculated and that's it for today i appreciate you for watching this video